What's up YouTube? My name is Overthrow. I'm a guitarist, producer, and artist. Today we're going to be making an Ian Dior guitar type beat. I'm going to play the guitar all from scratch. You can watch me go through the process. I have guitar loops down below if you're not a guitarist yourself, but we're going to get this and we're going to make a dope beat today. Thanks for joining me. Let's go. All right, so I actually had a chord progression in mind and um, let's just label this guitar instead of the preset name. And it goes like this, so it's like... I'm gonna change that up a little bit. Wait, so. Okay, I think I'm gonna do it like that. I'd like to get this idea out as quick as possible. So let me pull up, I'm just gonna record like some other guitar stuff and just get it out of my head. So that way we can play with it afterwards and I have it just like, I just have it on paper basically. So um, let's pull up just like a distorted guitar amp all the way up. So this is probably gonna be loud so I'm gonna lower this. Oh, it goes right back up. Thanks, Logic. Okay, I gotta listen to this because I just messed up the groove. Okay, so I just have, I, I don't know if I'm gonna actually use that, but I just have it. Da, da, da. And then I'm gonna record like a counter melody to this. So it's gonna just sound something cool. Okay, there we go. 
and then I'm probably gonna record some highs like Don't know if I'll use those either, but we got our bass at least. I'm actually really happy with this loop. Let me make sure everything is recording well in OBS too, real quick. Yep, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna hide these just to clear the space. Um, Let's see what kind of snare, I think, I don't know what kind of snare I'm feeling. <coughs> Not that one. <coughs> Maybe a clap actually. Let's go to like, what are these claps here? Basic clap today. Okay, so we're gonna do the four on the floor up until the end, and that's where we'll go. Okay, now what I'm noticing, actually real quick, as I lay down these drums, I'm noticing that my guitar isn't fully in time. So what you can actually do is if you're recording instruments, you can run it through Melodyne and adjust the rhythms and everything like that. So let's move it. We'll just go to eighth. That worked perfectly. That was sick. Okay, so now I'm just going to take off all the effects and bounce it with just Melodyne and then bring it back. So easy. Shit. I think I'm just going with like that, but I'm going to change the velocity of every other hi-hat. Sounds good. I'm not sure if I vibe with that. We'll see.
You know what? I think we could speed this up. Let me actually try this real quick. Um, I'm just pulling up my VeriSpeed plugin on Logic. Or it's built in, it's not a plugin. But let's just see what it sounds like sped up. note okay wait so that note wasn't sounding good to me anymore it sounded cool at the beginning but not really anymore so I'm just gonna copy and paste it instead of having to replay it da -da. okay cool so we have that it's a little bit sketch right now, but we're good, we're good. This is way more his pace. Uh. to make sure it fades in and out just a very little bit so that way I don't get any clips between these chops here and then I'm just gonna make it all one loop by clicking J now I'm gonna add some reverb to this clap effects are important as hell so now we got that depth to it it's not gonna be this much reverb and then probably some free delay. so that way the notes kind of blend into each other and it sounds kind of like trance-y, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
and instead of putting the reverb right on, I'm going to put it onto a bus. So that way, I'm not delaying the reverb at the same time. That sounds really cool. And then I'm going to hit it with some chorus as well. To get that like Ian Dior feel, he uses a lot of chorus on his guitars. And then I'm just getting rid of some of the mid here. And then we'll go like this. Oh, oh I'm also going to add some piano. I got that idea in my head real quick. Computer can't play piano. Oh no. I just need to be able to play it right. By the way, this is all by ear. You can totally do this. You just have to take some time with it and then you'll get the notes right. Okay, so. Da -da. I'm just quantizing some of them. I don't want to quantize that first one because I have it hit really early. I want to move this one forward though. I'm not going to have those last notes hit because that changes like the mood a little too much. I would rather have these hit just like as full out chords, like without me just strumming them like that. So just da da da. I'm gonna take this pitch shifter off for a second. Oh, I realized. Okay, hold up. We're gonna have to slow it down so I can play the guitar real quick. This is turning into like a Post Malone beat, but that's okay. Ian Dior could totally be on this. much difference that delay made like it changed the whole vibe of it like listen to it without the delay in the chorus and everything it's just like up front Wah. it kind of sounds terrible actually and now I put the effects on it sounds so much better like right away And then I'm gonna change this. We don't we don't need this guitar for that vibe. So it's gonna be a little bit different. 
It's gonna be like the same notes pretty well, but just a little bit different. And then I have to slow it down, that's okay. I'm gonna play it like a little different. I'm gonna repeat it, so I'm just gonna play it over this whole thing. One more time. I'm just gonna play that last part once. Okay, so that's all I wanted. Just gonna clip that. Okay, and I feel like it could benefit from like some drum textures. So let's go to drums. Let's go to one of the samples that I had a while ago. It's just this hi-hat sample that I chopped. And I'm just gonna play through it. Hold up. I'm recording over the guitar. That's always so great when that happens. Hold up. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's all I needed. That's literally all I needed to make this sound a little bit better. Sometimes the small things make a massive difference. And then instead of having that hi-hat hit in every single one, I'm just gonna repeat it on every other one so that way there's some variance. I'm gonna put a flanger on this. So I have a flanger on my bus. And now my kick pattern. Since I changed the vibe a bit, the kick pattern has to change a bit too to conform like with the guitar. So instead of going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, it's gonna be like one, two, three, four, duh, 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 duh. I can't really explain it. So it's gonna hit like a little bit before and then a little bit after. And then last but not least, like we're getting close to the end here. I'm gonna grab something from here. I'm gonna grab a riser, just a short little whoosh. We're gonna get this one. Y'all can see the names here. If you have Splice, you can totally grab that. 
Risers are really cool for these beats. Okay, so I also, damn, I slipped a little bit here, so I have to change the bass a bit too. So I, these notes need to hit earlier now that the kick hit earlier. I think that's the last thing I'm gonna have to change like that though. And then I'm just gonna have the guitar hit like this. Um, let's remove the grooves, shorten everything. Ta Hold up. Da, da. We're shortening this guitar. Um, that's a little annoying with this because it's not starting on the one. Maybe I'll pack it. Okay, perfect. That's a hack with Logic, like if you pack the audio file as a folder, it just goes right to the bar instead of like you having to move it a little bit, it just does it right for you. Okay, we can actually repeat this chorus twice. The first time we don't need to repeat it, but this, like typically, sometimes artists repeat the chorus a second time. Um, and then I'll just take out the rest for this. And then I'm gonna shorten the second verse. Actually, I don't need to because we're only at a minute and 45. Command Shift M to bring out the stereo track, then click the letter A, then go to volume on that drop down menu, and then click anywhere just to fade it out. And that's our beat! Gotta slap the tag on here real quick. Right, well, that's the end of that beat. Thank you so much for making that beat with me. I hope you learned some stuff. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And like I said, I have a lot of guitar loops. I'm gonna include them in the description. I even have like one free kit that you can grab if you just wanna try them out. But yeah, thank you for joining me on this video and I'll see you for the next one. Don't forget this to like and subscribe, all that stuff. All right, peace.